Acclaimed television journalist Lori Du is tackling the opioid crisis in a new documentary coming to PBS about addiction and recovery in New York State. Called Reversing the Stigma, it profiles multiple people in various stages of recovery and shares their stories and experiences while highlighting the work being done to combat the crisis in New York. The film was created to tell the stories of real New Yorkers battling this disease and highlighting that recovery is indeed possible. Throughout the film, Lori Dew, a former news anchor for CNN, MSNBC, and Fox News, speaks candidly about her nearly two decades long struggle with addiction and her own process of recovery. Let's take a look. My name is Lori Dew, and I'm a person in long-term recovery from addiction. There was a time when most of the country thought I had it all. They saw a rising star in the television news industry, the face of three major cable news networks, an award-winning American journalist who could write her own ticket to success. My future was very bright indeed. But in reality, my life wasn't much of a life at all. It was more of an existence. Did you know that 90% of people with a substance use disorder never receive specialty treatment? I was one of them. In my case, it was alcohol and cocaine. And the stigma attached to men and women struggling with addiction was so pervasive, it prevented me from confronting the disease that was destroying my life. So I suffered in silence for nearly 20 years before I faced the truth asked for help, and began the journey of recovery. And on behalf of the more than 23 million Americans currently in long-term recovery, I'm here to tell you that recovery is real. It works, and it's happening every day. But while that is good news, don't kid yourself. The scourge of addiction isn't going anywhere, and in fact has become a public health crisis unlike anything we've ever seen before. This is a New York story, and the Empire State is on to something that speaks to the very core of this life and death issue. And it's simply this. If we truly want to fight addiction, it starts with reversing the stigma. Our New York story begins here at the Inebriate Asylum in Binghamton, the first medically directed addiction treatment center in the United States. Within these walls, patients were treated for alcoholism and in some cases for opiate addiction. This iconic three-story castle on the hill was completed during the waning years of the Civil War. When it opened its doors in June of 1864, the medical community still knew very little about the circuitry of the brain. In fact, the concept of how endorphins, dopamine, and other brain chemicals in genes shape our personalities and behaviors was something yet to be discovered. So 95% of society had no problem with moderating alcohol intake, while the remaining 5% had no control over alcohol consumption whatsoever. And that left scientists scratching their heads. There was simply no scientific explanation, which led many physicians to conclude that addiction was a choice grounded in immorality and perpetuated by the weakness of one's character. So building an inebriate asylum to treat alcoholism as a disease of the brain was almost unheard of. But founder Dr. J. Edward Turner fully embraced that idea. He also believed that alcohol addiction was a curable disease if treated properly. This is the only known image of Dr. J. Edward Turner. In fact, this was his office. While Dr. Turner was certainly forward thinking in many ways, he also believed that those under his care were seriously flawed individuals, liars and thieves with suicidal and homicidal tendencies. So legal action, coercion, and even physical restraint were often necessary in order to control their so-called diseased character. Although well-intentioned, his treatment regimen only continued to perpetuate the stigma that plagued the victims of addiction in this country. Yes, the science of addiction has grown by leaps and bounds in the last 150 years. But how is the Empire State doing today in both accepting and treating the disease itself? 
Will timely historic legislation pushed through by New York Governor Andrew Cuomo, increased access to prevention and treatment services, and a renewed commitment to begin speaking openly about addiction create a new model for combating addiction in this country? These are important questions, and perhaps only time will give us the answers. But one thing is certain, it's time for the voices of New York State's recovery movement to be heard. Powerful and so important as the drug addiction epidemic takes hold in America. In the coming weeks, Reversing the Stigma host Lori Du will be here with us, and we hope you'll join us too.